Japanese philosophy has historically been a fusion of both indigenous Shinto and continental religions, such as Buddhism and Confucianism, formerly heavily influenced by both Chinese philosophy and Indian philosophy, as with Mitagaku and Zen. Much modern Japanese philosophy is now also influenced by Western philosophy, ancient and medieval thought. Before feudalism was firmly established in Japan, Buddhism occupied the mainstream of Japanese thought. The Buddhist culture introduced politically by Prince Shotoku is completed as the making a country safe thought in the Nara era, when the Heian era began, in substitution for the making a country safe thought. Form of esoteric Buddhism collectively known as Mikio became widespread. However, in the late noble era when pessimism was popular due to the belief that Buddhism will decline during the latter days of this world, the Pure Land movement spread out encouraging anticipation of a future life as a means to cope with desperation over life in this world. During the Kamakura era when government dominated by the samurai class began, a new Buddhism for the newly risen class appears. Arrival of Buddhism and early influence in Japan also see the six schools of Nara Buddhism in ancient Japan. The arrival of Buddhism closely relates the national construction and the national centralization of power. Prince Shotoku and the Soga family, who overcame a war against Mononobe family who had handled the Japanese ancient religion, elaborated a plan for national governance based on the legal code system of Buddhism. While cooperating with Soga family, Prince Shotoku, who was the regency of the Emperor Suiko, showed deep understanding in foreign Buddhism, and he was going to stabilize national politics with Buddhism. The thought that is going to get national peace and security with the power of Buddhism is called making a country safe, thought. In the Nara era, the times of the Emperor Shomu in particular, Kokobunji temples and Kokabuniji temples were erected in the whole country. And today Ji Temple and the Daibitsu was erected in Nara. As Jajen of the Tang Dynasty brought an ordination platform in today Ji Temple, the Buddhism policy by the state reached the highlight. As the Nara Buddhism has a strong aspect of the making a safe country thought, the Heian Buddhism brought not only national peace and security but also the personal this world profit because they perform the severe ascetic practices, incantations and prayers in the mountains frequently. These Buddhism is called Mikyo. Kukai learned Chinese esoteric Buddhism and he initiated Japanese Shingon Buddhism. Sayako learned Chinese Tendai sect and he assumed that the spirit of the Lotus Sutra was the core of Buddhism. In the late Heian era of a sinful age, possibility of the relief in this world was denied, and a trend looking for a reincarnation to the Buddhist paradise after the death rose with the fashion of the belief that Buddhism will decline during the latter days of this world. Pure Land movements for relief to the Budnest's paradise spread out. Kuya did play line of the countries and preached faith to the Amitabha. Kamakura Buddhism the Jodo faith, which affected by the Jodo sect of the late Heian era, relies on salvation through the benevolence of Amitabha, and is going to be relieved by its power. Honan, who initiated the Jodo sect of Buddhism, abandoned other ascetic practices entirely. He preached his pupils to believe in Amitabha and to earnestly pray, Namu Amida Butsu, and so they would go to the paradise. His pupil, Shinran who initiated Pure Land Buddhism, thoroughly carried out Honan's teaching and preached the absolute dependence. In addition, Shinran advocated that an object of the relief of the Amitabha was a criminal who was aware of a worldly and desirous criminal oneself. Ippon, who initiated the Jishu sect, began the chanting religious dance. As contrast with dependent Jodo faith, Zen Buddhism attempts to be spiritually self-awakened by Zen meditation. As I learned Rinzai sect in China, he gave pupils a difficult problem and he made them solving the problem, and so his pupils would be enlightened by themselves. Rinzai Zen was supported widely by the upper samurai class in the Kamakura era. 
Dozhen learned Soto sect in China, opposed to Azai, he preached enlightenment by earnest sitting meditation. Soto Zen was supported by the local samurais. Most schools of Nichiren Buddhism refer to the priest and teacher Nichiren as their founding father. In his teachings he underlined the, to his mind, supremacy of the Lotus Sutra. He advocated the attainment of Buddhahood during one's lifetime and regarded his interpretation of the Buddhist teachings the correct form of practice for the latter day of the law Mapo. One of his major treatises is the Risho Ankoku Ron. The chanting of the mantra Namu Myo Ho Reng Akio is to this day the central practice to almost all Nichiren Buddhist schools and organizations. Early modern thought Whereas the ancient and medieval thought of Japan was tied closely to Buddhism, the early modern thought of Japan was mainly Confucianism or Neo-Confucianism, which was designated for official study of the Tokugawa shogunate. In addition, rational Confucianism stimulated Kokugaku, Rongaku and the non-official popular thought after the Middle Edo era. Confucianism in the Edo era Confucianism was the authorized study. Various schools of Neo-Confucianism were popular. The Zhushi school of Neo-Confucianism respected family-like feudal social position order. Hayashi Razan assumed the Zhushi school of Neo-Confucianism to be the theoretical basics of the Tokugawa shogunate. Through the principle of civilian government, Yoshima Sado dedicating to Confucius was established. By the Kansai reforms, the Zhushi school of Neo-Confucianism were still more strengthened and authorized by the Tokugawa shogunate. In addition, the thought of a school of the Zhushi school of Neo-Confucianism gave big influence to the political movement advocating reverence for the emperor, and the expulsion of foreigners of the late Tokugawa era. In contrast with the Zhushi school of Neo-Confucianism, the Wang Yangming school of Neo-Confucianism respecting practical ethics consistently monitored and oppressed by the Tokugawa shogunate because of criticisms for the socio-political conditions under the Tokugawa shogunate. The third schools of Neo-Confucianism took consideration into the real intentions of original texts by Confucius and Mencius. Yamaga Soko established Bushido based on Confucian ethic, and assumed the samurai to be the highest class. Ito Jinzai paid attention to Ren of Confucius and he respected Ren as the love for another person and truth as pure consideration. In addition, deriving from his substantial studies of ancient Chinese classics, Ogusarai insisted that original Confucian spirit is to rule the world and to save a citizen. Kokugaku and Rongaku in the middle of the Edo era. Kokugaku, the study of ancient Japanese thought and culture, became popular against foreign ideas such as Buddhism or Confucianism. By Sakoku policy of the Tokugawa shogunate, Edo intellectuals could not have any positive contact with Western civilization, and so Rongaku, Dutch learning, was the only window to the West. In the middle days of Edo era, Kokugaku became popular while being influenced by positivist Confucianism with nationalism as a background. Kokugaku positively studied ancient Japanese thought and culture, including Kojiki, Nihon Shoki, and Manyoshu, and they aimed at excavating original moral culture of Japan which was different from Confucianism and Buddhism. Kamo no Mabuchi wrestled with the study of Manyoshu, and called Mashore Oburi for masculine and tolerant style, and he evaluated the collection as pure and simple. Through his study of Kojiki, Motori Norinagar argued that the essence of the Japanese literature came from Mono no Aware, which was natural feelings to occur when you contacted with an object. He respected Japanese Jamato spirit instead of Chinese Kara spirit. According to him, Kokugaku should pursue Japanese old way of Shinto. Through his study of Kokugaku, Hirata Atsutain advocated nationalistic state Shinto, the obedience to the emperor and abolition of Confucianism and Buddhism. It was a driving force to the end of the Tokugawa shogunate and the Meiji Restoration.
In Sakoku period of the Edo era, there was no direct contact with the West but Rongaku became popular by encouraging importation of Western books translated in Chinese from China during the Kyoho reforms. Mano Ryotaku and Sugita Genpaku translated Dutch Tafel Anatomy into Japanese. Dutch learning unfolded to other Western studies such as British, French and American studies by the late Tokugawa era. The manner of Japanese spirit, a Western civilization, was completed by Sakuma Shozan's straightforward expression, Eastern ethics and Western technology. Because Takano Chia and Watanabe Kazan of the person of Dutch learning criticized Sakoku strictly, they were oppressed by the Tokugawa shogunate. Popular thought in the Edo era, private schools were opened by samurais, merchants and scholars who played an active part. Their thoughts were criticisms for the dominant feudal order. Ashida Bagan synthesized Confucianism, Buddhism and Shinto, and established practical philosophy for the masses. He recommended working hard at commerce as the effect by honesty and thrift. He criticized a lawful society where there were feudal class discrimination and the difference between the rich and poor. Ninomiya Sontoku insisted that people must repay the virtues, which supported their existence, with own virtue.